How's it, Gannon lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. As you guys know, two league SBCs dropped last night, the Chinese Superliga and League 1. The choices in League 1 you've just seen there, we had Sovan, and we have this man, Memphis Depay. I picked him up, and lads, I'm going to review the day for you guys, so if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring the hype to the review like you bring every single time, honestly, man. The support recently, sensational. So let's keep it going with this one. Let's try and hit over 1,000 likes for Memphis Depay, and if you are new to the channel, drop us some Description as well and so click the little bell if you want to be notified of future uploads upon the channel because YouTube it doesn't always push the feeds so uh, make sure you click that little bell even if you subscribe right now click the little bell to make sure you're notified so uh, this is the team in the background it's a uh, 4 one three, two. we have Dembele alongside the Pirate striker Pogba is in a center midfield it looks like a 4 one, two, one, two wide but it's actually a 4 like 3 one, well what, what the hell is it 4 one, three, two. Uh, that is what it is we've got Marcia on the left Tobat on the right uh, not his pink card, not his uh, pink card like uh, Memphis Depay. I've got the 84 rated. Uh, can't hit CDM. We've got many at left back. We have. Oh, who's that guy at right back? He's a very, very good player. I think it's like Malquit or something like that. He's he's brilliant, brilliant for 77. Uh, he is bloody brilliant. Lengler is centre back alongside Varana. And we have Thibaut Courtois in net. So, lads. Let's get into the review. So here we go. Now, the longer I kind of pondered about doing this review, the more the price went up because, as you know, SBCs, League SBCs, they're cheapest when they first come out. And then uh, the price normally goes up, 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 and then starts dipping. So as of right now, it is 400k on the Xbox and roughly the same on the PlayStation. Uh, I reckon it cost me more than that. I really, really do. I went down in a lot of coins, so this is an expensive SPC by, like, every single stretch of the imagination possible. This is a very expensive SPC. It's a striker, of course. He scored nine times in six games, zero assists on the card, and, yeah... Five star skills. That is one of the bonuses with the card. You get the five star skills, but you don't even get a four star week, but you get a three star week with high to low work rates. And some of the stats, I know you're looking at his height, it's five foot nine. As a target man, it doesn't work. You look at the jump and it's 76. He doesn't get off the ground. You look at the head and accuracy, if he does, it's 68. He's not going to win anything in the end, unfortunately. And that does go against the card, as does his three star weak foot, which I will talk about in game. However, the rest of his stats look bloody phenomenal. I've got a sniper chem style on him, it boosts his agility, balance, reactions, uh, ball control, dribbling, composure, which was an issue for a lot of people like looking at this card. The composure of 78. Do I feel a difference in game whatsoever? No, I don't. He's an exceptional finisher on this game. He's got 90 shot power, 81 uh, finishing, plus 15 with a sniper chem style. He's got 86 attack and position. Look at the pace of the card 92 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, uh, sensational. 84 long shots as well, but. Couple that with the curve. This guy's finesse shots are deadly. This guy has such a good finesse shot. But with the shot power, what can he do from range? Bang! Back of the bloody nets. What a strike by Memphis Depay. He can pull that off. And um, yeah, there's not too many people in this game that can pull that off. I don't even know if that was with the outside the boot. Because normally with the outside the boot, it's a little bit easier. But that was just like a bang. It was literally a bang. I don't think that was outside the boot whatsoever, was it? It was just a clean hit from Memphis Depay. And it lands right in the top corner. Kraken strike there from the Netherlands man. Is it outside the boot? No, it's laces. What a strike there from Depay. So straight away, you can already see evidence that he can smash them from range. His long shots are very good uh, and they don't even make the pros list, but the shot power does because as you would have seen on that strike, it is sensational. The shot power on this card is ridiculous and you can just bang them like the best of them on this game, man. Uh, it is 90 shot power. Of course, that isn't with you like a boost or anything like that. So you can add a chem style to boost the shot power even higher so it could get even bloody better. But uh, as of right now, the shot power is good enough, and you'll definitely notice the power in game of Memphis Depay. Even as a like strength perspective, I don't have that amongst the pros, but he is actually quite strong. Uh, he's got 83 strength and 78 aggression. He can hold his own uh, against a lot of centre backs and definitely the full backs on this game. So if he kind of floats around uh, to like the full back position, he can hold his own against them uh, and do a very good job. And just look at him dribbling wise. He keeps his kind of low centre of gravity at all times and keeps his composure to finish that one. <laughs> uh, Virgil Van Dijk there, he just he didn't have a clue what he was doing man and he goes and celebrates with the crowd so in terms of the pros and lads dribbling Dribbling, dribbling. That's what you got to do with this card. He's such a good dribbler on this game. Here's Memphis Depay. See Hazard feed it down the right-hand side. It's Melquitz. Uh, I think it's Melquitz. Or is it Helquitz? It's, it's something like that. But he's a very good player. And he just smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. And you'll see on the replay, it was straight at the goalkeeper. It wasn't left. It wasn't right. It was straight at the keeper because it came at us quite fast. And I thought, you know what? Just press shoot and just look at the power on that. He looked like a frog jumping in the air there. Courtois in green. But uh, yeah, he can pull those off in game. I did score quite a 
couple of cutbacks with the pie. Because in Division 3 right now, in um, Division Rivals, it's actually quite tough. I don't know what it is right now, but Martial plays in uh, it down the left. It's crossed across the box, and it's there yet again uh, by Memphis to pie. That comes down to movement and finishing as well, because his movement... It's 86 attacking position, but it's also got height and low work rates. He doesn't deviate back into the midfield or anything like that. Stays on the last man. He stays central. That's what I love about the card, because you can do the one-twos like this. Get him behind the defence. Look at the pace of the boy. That is amazing. And he finishes it beyond the keeper into the back of the net. The pace is definitely a factor with this card. Like I always say, off the ball. And that was a prime example, because that was off the ball. Uh, pace does matter on this game, it does matter. A lot of people say, oh, pace, it doesn't matter, this, that, and the other. Then they go out and buy pacey players. Well, if it doesn't matter, buy bloody, uh, uh, I was going to say murder sucker, he's not even around anymore, but you know what I mean, lads, you know what I mean. Uh, you buy those little kind of players in terms of pace, but in terms of the pie, he's very fast on this game, 92 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, off the ball, you can definitely notice that pace. It's a pace burst every single time. The acceleration is instant, and it's very noticeable upon the car. In terms of the close control, it's always there with Memphis Depay. His close control is fantastic and it's always in control wherever the hell he goes, wherever the hell he pleases to go on this game. He's got those five star skills as well, so you can add the five star skills to your repertoire. And you can just add them into the game and just do what you want in that sense because it is very overpowered doing like a, a fake roulette. So a fake roulette, you can't even do that. A fake Rabona or something like that in a perfect situation. It's very overpowered on this game. And uh, you can definitely do that at his heart's consent. In terms of shot power, I spoke about that. Very good shot power and it does kind of, um, it bamboozles a lot of goalkeepers on this game. If you hit a shot with um, the correct amount of power and it flies past the keeper. Pace wise, spoke about that. Sensational and the movement as well. Spoke about that because his movement without the, the with the pace and no movement, you're not gonna do anything. You're not gonna do anything on this game. But he can do the one twos, he runs him behind the defenses, one for a ball, he is the way you're not stopping him, and he will get the chance. Now, in terms of the cons with the card, now he is a striker. Everyone knows that. He is a striker on this game. With you being a striker, you've got certain kind of um, needs to fulfill. One of them is holding up the ball. Memphis Depay's got the strength to do that, the stamina to keep running, like the back line and holding up the ball that way, and the aggression, but he doesn't have the head in. He's 5 foot 9 tall, he's got 76 jumping and 68 head in accuracy. So heading for me is the con with this card because he can't hold it up in that sense. He doesn't win goal kicks, he doesn't win corner kicks, he doesn't win crosses, doesn't win anything like that. And even if he did, man, from crosses, his head in accuracy is 68. And most likely uh, will go straight to the goalkeeper. And the freestyle weak foot, it's always going to be a hindrance with the pie. Where whichever kind of card that he does get on this game, he could have a 99 card. The freestyle weak foot would still be a hindrance because it's just... I don't know, man. His left foot just doesn't produce the goods as much as his right foot. So, in-game, what you're doing all the time is moving it back to his right, moving it back to his right. You don't take chances with the left. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe it's the way I play. But um, the freestyle weak foot for me, when I did try it with Depay, because I tried with all the cards, I take left-footed shots, I take this, I take that, I try every single thing out about the card, and it just wasn't coming off, man. It wasn't coming off. Hence, why that is a con with the card. So, let's get your ball in on Memphis Depay. Remember, I reviewed his normal card back uh, maybe a month ago ago or three weeks ago and uh, I did enjoy the card but there was a lot going against the card I think it was the exact same thing heading uh, and uh, the freestyle weak foot so in terms of this card I reckon he's brilliant but the price of this card it's ridiculous so in terms of the overall rating he's going to get the rating of an 8.7 I fully recommend you get this card if you've got um like millions and millions of coins. If you don't have millions and millions, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Don't put yourself through it. He's getting a value of coins of a 5.0 because it's just not worth it. Yes, he's a phenomenal card. Yes, he's a good card. Yes, you enjoy the card. He's getting a 9.5 in that enjoyment rating category, by the way, because I had fun with the card, and that's what you want to do on this game. You want to have fun. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's not, but with the pie, he makes it a lot easier. And um, in terms of the, the value of coins, I'll just go back to that because... He's not worth it. He's not worth it. If you don't have any of these players in your club, I had most of the players in my club, and it still cost me an arm, a leg, maybe a toe, and um, yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. So he's getting a 5.0 in that category, and he fully deserves that because he could get an inform, a couple of informs, and it'll be like 100k. This card is 400,000 coins. At least, at least, that is crazy. So uh, don't be like mindless when you're going to think about doing this SBC. Think about it, because if you don't have millions upon millions upon millions, 
Don't do it. I didn't have millions upon millions. He's going to be a super sub for me. He's really going to be a starter unless I can kind of get Mbappe, Neymar, Depay, Strike, and someone like Rabiu at centre mid. Then he could be a starter for me. But otherwise, he's going to be a bench player. He's going to 9.5, like I said, enjoyment rating. Foot champs readiness, yes, he's going to 9 out of 10 in that category. I reckon he could do uh, damage in foot champs, especially from a skill perspective or a wing perspective. You stick him out on like the right wing or something like that, he could do a job like skilling down the wing, crossing the ball in. Because his crossing is 86, he'd do a very good job in a 4 2 3 1 as the wide cam. The similar players we have Antoine Griezmann, Patrick Kluivert, and Stoichkov. The key pro is the dribble in the key corner is the heading and the best game style for me would be Sniper which has been uh, my uh, best game style for quite a while. I'm just loving Sniper right now because outside of Jody and agility on this game, last game, a game before that, has always been important but not many people realise this because with agility you get the quick feet, you get the upper hand on your opponent all the time and with the agility getting like plus 10 with a Sniper cam style it's all good and especially if you're a striker because that's plus 15 your finishing so uh, yeah I definitely recommend that cam style. In terms of the top 10 of we have the top 10 special players disregarding icons. We have Hazard's player of the month at number Uno. We have number two, Neymar's in form, 9.3, both of them gates. But the enjoyment rating was higher on Hazard, I do believe. And the same goes to Royce over Mbappe. Royce comes in at 9.2, player of the month. I bloody love that card, man. I can't get over how good that card is for me, especially in the weekend league just gone. And by the way, speaking of weekend league, Foot Champions content is coming back to the channel. I just wanted to tell you that straight away. Mbappe comes in number four. Lacazette comes in number five. Hulk at number six. Player of the month, Lucas, comes in at number seven. That's a surprise to see him there. But uh, yeah, he is a good player on this game as Lucas. Well, for me, he was anyways. Number eight is Memphis Depay. He comes slotting in there in the top ten. Lozano comes in at number nine. And we have Wissam Ben Bloody Yedda coming in at number ten. And lads, that's where I'm going to end the review. One kind of note before I do end. Thank you. The support recently, the support over the last month since FIFA's release basically has been sensational. Whether it be on stream, whether it be on Twitter, whether it be on any social media or YouTube, it has been incredible. So once again, thank you to each and every single one of you. The feedback I've been getting off you guys, the players you're suggesting, the interaction, it's just been phenomenal. So once again, thank you so much to you guys. And if you have enjoyed this one, like the video, smash a like on it, lads. It's in for 1,000. I know you can hit it, so let's try and do that. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Click that little bell as well. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.